The success of the United Nations on the other side of the channel meant that the supplies necessary to maintain them must follow them deeper and deeper into Hitler's Europe. The French railways had been robbed of most of their rolling stock by the Germans during the occupation. And so, replacements from Britain and the United States were sent over both as cargo and on ferry boats equipped with a special superstructure to take them. Loading gear, designed expressly for the purpose, was employed to lift heavy locomotives bodily from the quaysides. Once aboard, they were run smoothly into position on the ferry boat's own rails. One most important feature of the shipping of this traffic was the special link span, which worked something in the nature of a drawbridge between ship and shore. By its use, whole trains of goods wagons, Red Cross coaches, and other rolling stock were enabled to run straight from the dock rails onto the ferry boats without the use of any lifting gear. The principle of the peacetime Dover to Dunkirk train ferry had been very successfully adapted to Southampton's wartime needs. Thus were the railroads of France replenished with the rolling stock necessary to carry our armies further along their triumphant road to final victory.